Hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial. Uh, in this lesson we're going to be talking about um, functions um, and also I'm going to do an if statement as well, uh, a flow control which is um, what it's called. Um, I will do another lesson on if statements but for this um, I'm just going, to be whoops, just going to be using an if statement so don't think too much of it. Okay, what is a function? A function basically is um, something we're telling PHP how to do something, what to do with it, and why to do it, and uh, and so on, and what it, what information it is to output once it's done it. And once we've um, defined this function, we can use it multiple times. Um, so basically, it's it's um, reducing the amount of code that we're writing. We're just writing it once, and then we're just using this one function time and time again with um, a minimal amount of code, <coughs> which means your script is faster, um, it's only going to uh, take off milliseconds, it's not going to take off seconds. Um, so okay, so how do we define uh, a function? Um, basically we say function first of all, obviously it's part of PHP so it has to be within PHP tags, um, so we say function. Uh, next thing we have to do is give the function a name. Now there's lots of lots of um, built-in functions with inside PHP so there's no point um, giving it the same name as a built-in function because the PHP page will just call um, this function instead so what you have to do is give it your own name so what we're going to give our functions name is new func okay basically and next we write um, an open bracket and a closed bracket and then open curly braces and close curly braces. Now from here to here basically is the function and anything that we um, declare with inside our function will be stored later for when we when we call our function, when we use our function. So uh, let's just give you an example of how it works basically. So we're just going to put hello world in here um, and that's that now nothing uh, will happen because we haven't called our function yet but if we do call our function what it's going to do is it's going to echo hello world so how do we call the function you're asking well all we simply do is we say new func and put a semicolon on the end and that is pretty much it so we come over to localhost now and refresh the page as you can see it says hello world now that's pretty useless basically um, what we've done so far because we could just write um, hello world so what if we wanted to actually predefine it to say something to a person if we wanted to know their name and so on um, so what we could do is basically say um, let's get rid of hello world and let's put a variable in here of name now this is basically going to say hello John, hello David, hello Steve, hello whoever but at the moment it's not going to say anything because name has no value okay so it's just going to it's just going to print hello and let's um, to prove it we refresh it and it just says undefined variable name okay at the moment because we haven't defined um, this variable at all um, okay so what what do we do how do we define this variable um, well with inside the brackets we have to give an argument that's what it, we can have as many arguments as you want it in there and so what we simply do is we say name and now at the moment this still um, basically does nothing um, because name has no value and that's that's it and there's no point us putting um, David here because we could just simply type David here so it, it, it's still not doing anything so what we do whoops Oops. there we go okay what we do is, is when we call the function we basically have to do exactly the same here or here as what we've done here so we have to now fill in our argument that we want it to do so hello name well guess what David is going in here so new function is being called and the argument is David so with inside the function it's then going to say echo it's then going to do echo hello name which is this argument of David so control s to save and refresh and as we can see now hello David now okay what, what if we wanted to store information um, into a variable okay so what we could do is we could say var equals new function now 
let's basically refresh this and now see what this does. See, it still echoes Hello David. Well, what if we don't want it to echo anything yet? What if we want to test this var um, to see if it's um, spelt correctly or it's the right person and so on? So we just want to store this information here, what's um, being displayed, into this. Yeah? Well, we don't put echo. What we do is we say return. Okay? Return. Uh, hello name basically we don't need an equal sign all we're doing is we're saying return this information so it's outputting uh, this information here to this variable and then it's down to us to decide what we're going to do with this variable so let's control s to save let's come back to here and now nothing displays because our code at the moment hasn't outputted anything to the browser but if we now say um, echo var and refresh this now now we get hello world so we've stored this information with inside our function into a variable now it st still doesn't seem very useful but if you think about um, how a function works and what you can do with it then maybe maybe it is worthwhile now I said that I'm going to talk about if statements very quickly or flow control so let's basically say if name is equal to David then um, var is equal to true now just please forget about everything that I'm doing I'm just trying to show you the output that's all that's important else var equals false okay and what we want to do now is we want to return var okay so this is what we're turning the, returning the value so we're, we're returning true or false now when we call our function here now okay to go back to this because we've made this var um, variable here we're not overwriting it here because this is with inside this function so it's only available with inside this function um, it's not global global means that um, it's from here all the way down we can use it we can change it we can do whatever we want these variables are only available um, with inside this function okay so this var now is a new variable um, that we use so var is equal to new function David now echo var now what we need to do now is we can basically test this if var is equal to true echo David else echo someone else split it properly okay so now var ha is going to have the value or of true or false and now what we're doing is we're testing if var is equal to true now um, this is basically a data type of boolean. Boolean is um, yes or no, um, on or off, uh, one or zero. It's binary basically. It's on. It's just true or false basically. Um, but this um, is now giving this the value of true. So if var is equal to true, echo hello David. Let's control this to save, and let's see what it does, shall we? Let's refresh, and we got hello David. Okay because the argument that we put in here was David so now let's put John and refresh this okay and someone else so it's basically with inside of our function here we've predetermined what's going to happen with it and we're not going to we're not echoing out inf any information we're just testing to see if it's this person's name and if it is then it's going to be true or false and then we're coming down here we're storing this information into into this var and then we're testing the var if it's true then do this else do this so this bit here is kind of a function in itself as well but we haven't predefined this function um, I'm going to cut it short there because I think um, that's enough there's a lot more to talk about with functions so please don't think this is all of it um, the, there's a lot to do with the arguments as well um, anyway 
if you do have any questions about this please um, send me a message I, I think after this I'm going to do a second part uh, to this tutorial because it needs it to talk in depth about functions and for you to be able to get a good idea about it I think maybe there's going to be three four parts to, to to this tutorial. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name's David Thorne. Visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de and uh, if you're any of my uh, usual people that send me any messages, please um, send me a message what you think about this tutorial. Um, I'm very interested in, in whether it was good or bad and whether you understood it. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.